first name? Rachel. Last name? Carson. Miss Carson, I'm sorry, but all our secretarial positions are filled. Oh, no, sir. I'm applying for the field research biologist position. <laughs> Women don't. What? A biopsy? You said there's a lump. Rachel, we have to test. Oh, um, yes. The requirements for this position. You will be in isolation for three months, studying the wildlife on the island. <laughs> Land, water, and sky. Science Island, if you will. Silence Island? No, don't worry. Science Island is a state of the art. With all the necessary provisions and equipment, huh? it's as close as we can get to the real world, except this containment. Huh? You will be communicating with me via radio at your base, telling me about your research and discoveries. It will be as if I'm right there with you. I just want you to know that you have hit the lottery. Dream come true for any scientist. And the best part of all... I'm so fortunate for this opportunity. No. Mosquitoes. Pardon? <laughs> That's right. No mosquitoes outside in the summer. How can that be? I know how it sounds, but I synthesized a pesticide called Dichlorodifeltrichloroethane. DDT for short. It is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless chemical compound that has found us. Mosquitoes just drop dead. My goodness, a, a thing like that. And you are going to help change the... It's the only one in the world. Think of it like a camera that only can see certain things. Right out for yourself. Now, look around you. Notice how you can only see certain objects with the scanner and put others. And that's because... Now see you are doing point of your nest. The IRGB will start to beep, detecting an animal, fish, insect. Once close enough, you can then capture the specimen. Proceed with your training. Enter the course near the far end of the warehouse. for the army? Pleasure to meet you, little man. My name's 
Rachel, and it looks like we'll be working together this summer. <laughs> Bear with me, I am still getting used to all this advanced technology. Who knew computers were run by tiny people inside? Guess what? I have a joke. Okay, so, what did the snowman say to the other snowman? Do you smell carrots? Get it? Because they're... I guess you can't smell. <laughs> That's enough goofing around. Let's check the water levels. Everything looks good to me. Ugh. Dorothy would love to see the zooplankton this close up. That's... Splendid! Oh! Ah, ah, just splendid! Uh, what's the water levels? Perfectly normal. And you were right. There were no mosquitoes. Isn't it amazing? Especially in the marshy swamps. Yes, of course. But isn't it really strange? Uh... Yeah. A pesticide that only works on mosquitoes specifically? Can you send some of that stuff over my way? I'm getting eaten up over here. I am on an island, you know. <laughs> so, DDT in a bottle? <laughs> I am forever grateful that you're in my life. Rachel, I look forward to talking to you every day. A true highlight I needed more of. You and me both. I can't wait for you to return home. Mm, my dearest Dorothy. I'll aboard the breakfast train. Choo-choo! I, Rachel Carson, will be your conductor, delivering the finest worms available. Of course, this isn't a real train, but these are real worms, so enjoy! So how long has it even been? Um, I don't know, a month, maybe two? Wow, that long? Yeah. I guess time flies when you're a scientist. So hey, when you get back, you're going to show me the microzoa and phytoplankton. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just tired is all. Wow, look at all this food. Fresh trout from the stream. Delicious. You haven't touched your food yet. It's going to get cold. And that's what I mean in terms of resistance. If an area is sprayed with DDT... 
Only mosquitoes would die. Supposedly, but through an odd genetic mutation, some could survive. And whatever allowed them to survive would be passed on to their offspring. Creating a DDT-resistant mosquito. Exactly. My goodness. You're gonna have to send me a report. That's astounding. And terrifying. Hey there, little guys. What's that swirling around in there with you? Water's looking extra murky today. Maybe I should give the swamps one more scan. Oh, heavens, is there something wrong with the IRGB? Nothing's ever glowed like that before. Hi, hello. Uh, Dr. Muller, how are you? Oh, I'm doing very well, thank you. That's wonderful. So, quick note, uh, I was finishing my tasks around the swamps, and I think there's something wrong with the IRGB. Something wrong? How so? Well, as I said, I was near the swamps, and I used the IRGB, and a plethora of glowing dots appeared. They were everywhere. Do you have any idea what that's all about? I didn't even know organisms could glow. Is that safe? <clears throat> oh, uh, it's a, um, it's uh, just the IRGB being funny. It is the only one of the world, so custom devices come with custom problems. <laughs> but they were glowing. The mosquitoes? Has to be, right? Glowing dots flying around all over the swamps? Huh. I can't believe I didn't put this together sooner. And what did Dr. Muller have to say about this? He wasn't particularly worried about the matter. Good morning, everyone. I hope you slept well. Chairs, table, you are looking awfully well-rested. I should radio Dr. Muller in the garage. Dr. Muller, hello? Are you there? Richard, hello? Of course. How are you doing on this fine Friday? It's Friday already? My goodness. Yes, well, you know what that means. It's Fish Friday. Why, yes, of course. I am looking forward to checking up on those boys.
Hello, Mr. Valve. I just need to turn you so I can get some samples of the fish. I know, it's Fish Friday already. Can you believe it? Me either. Mr. Valve, you're not working properly. There must be another way to give you power. Ah, little man, it's great to see you. Little man, are you okay? The bugs can be dangerous. My goodness, how'd the mosquitoes get in there? This is not good. Something is going very wrong. Ah, wonderful. Great job, little man. Looks like the power is back on. Back again, Mr. Valve. I should be able to gather samples of the fish once the net is raised. What in the world? What is going on? This can't be. Are they dead? They're dead. Something has gone terribly wrong. I have got to tell Dr. Mallow. Dr. Muller? Hello? Are you there? Something has gone terribly wrong, and, well, all the fish are showing up... dead. You know, when they should be very much alive? I guess I have to head farther upstream using the to find my helps samples. me to navigate, when I don't know exactly where to go. However, I noticed the terminals are being connected by the glowing pipes, which really cannot be good. Not even the mosquitoes were supposed to glow. Okay, so there's a terminal up ahead where I can catch a live fish. Here it is. Look at this contraption. The terminal is connected to the fish tank, which is great because it would be too hard for me to catch a fish with my own hands. Wonderful. There's our fish. Now I have to figure out how to get you up here. Okay, so it looks like the gates are rising up after I connect the transistors. And would you look at that, little man? We have just one more to go.
We, but mostly you, did it, little man. The fish is almost up here. Okay, Mr. Fish, let's scan you to see your vitals. Be with your friends downstream. Oh, I'm sorry, little lady. I hope you're doing well today. You are six pounds and 15 inches. You seem healthy, little lady. Let's see what you've been eating, and I'm hoping it's not the... Glowing mosquitoes? Oh, heavens, four of them? I mean, that is what you eat, but... The mosquito's contaminant level is one bar. Not great, not terrible. Okay, so for you, little lady, two... Uh, Twelve bars? My goodness, that's three times higher than the mosquitoes! Is it multiplying? Well, little lady, you look normal, but your vitals aren't normal. I swear it has something to do with those glowing mosquitoes. <laughs> So much, little man. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh heavens, the fog. Where might this evil be? Maybe the scanner will give me a better idea. Oh, 
eagle is probably up in its nest. I just have to start the climb. Maybe I can get a hold of Dr. Muller in there. These terminals aren't working either. Oh, rats. Just another problem I have to tell. Roger. Dr. Muller. Ah, oh, how has your research been coming along? Um, that's the thing. I tried getting a hold of you because the fish are not well. How do you mean? Well, when I tried to gather fish samples earlier near Mr. Valve, all the fish that floated downstream were dead. Dead? Dead. A whole mess of them. What's even stranger is that they... Uh, disappeared when I looked away but are showing up on the scanner. Oh, Richard, how can that be? You're not making any sense. I know what I saw. When I scanned a trout for its vitals from upstream, its contamination level was three times higher than the mosquitoes. This must be based on the fact that the mosquitoes' contamination level was just one, but the trout ate four of them. Dr. Muller, I believe your pesticide DDT has something to do with this. My award-winning medical pesticide. DDT has nearly eradicated malaria. Do you want to blame it on the death of a few fish? Huh? I'm not doubting its ability to slow or stop the spread of malaria. But sir, I'm wary of the rapid use and commercialization of DDT. We don't know the long-term effects of it. Tell's your proof. Sir. You are a scientist, huh? There's your proof! You just come here and expect me to believe you? Halting <laughs> operations on a pesticide that will change the world! Do you want children to die? No, of course not, sir. I, I had a rainbow trout as a perfect example, but then an eagle swooped down and stole it. I'm sure it's nested in the climbing trees, but I need to regain access to them. <laughs> oh, you can't be serious! <laughs> You're telling me an eagle took your sick fish, huh? <laughs> of course it did! And that the mosquitoes disappeared? Yes! Because DDT is eradicating them as planned. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Oh, Miss Carson, you have a future in comedy at this rate. Maybe he's right. It's probably nothing. I haven't been feeling like myself lately. I guess I am sick. Which is why I could be seeing things. <laughs> That's it. But too many of those fish were dead, and it makes sense for the DDT to concentrate and magnify up the food chain. I'm right. I am right. I just need more proof. If Dr. Muller doesn't take this seriously, the environment, wildlife, and even humans could be in danger. 
Let's get this eagle. the eggs. I just need... Are they broken? They don't look hatched, but crushed, rather. And there are spots all over them. I'm not trying to hurt you, I swear. I just need to prove you're sick. I can see it myself. I just need the rest of the world to see it. Okay, little man, just one more to go. Great going, little man. Now we can finally... Is this really it for me? Is this really the end?
got an idea. Just you and me, little man. So that was the third sector. What's... left? Little man, are you sure? I'm scared. My theory is, when DDT was sprayed to control the mosquitoes, it got into the air, soil, and water. Starting in the water, first level consumers such as zoa and phytoplankton would have very tiny levels of, let's say, 0.04 parts per million of the producer DDT. Second level consumers like mosquitoes or small fish will then feed on those primary consumers, which will increase the concentration of DDT in the tissue through biomagnification. Third level consumers, like our rainbow trout, will feed on the second level consumers, multiplying the concentration of DDT yet again to a lethal degree. The eagles are producing thin eggshells due to the lack of calcium which means they are getting crushed when they are incubated.
Dr. Muller, the way DDT is progressing, humans <coughs> could be in danger. Even if that was true, who cares? I have already won, and so have you. But... Just look! Remember the name, Wakefield DDT. It spells certain oh death God. to all insects, and others too. It's already there a must commercial be a catch to it. Now? Maybe DDT hurts humans too. No ma'am, it harms only pests. If used correctly, it is absolutely harmless to humans and animals. No, that's but not to insects, true. it is deadly. No, 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 no. Dorothy. I've got to get a hold of Dorothy. What? What happened? Did he cut my communications? He's trying to silence me. Okay, Rachel, do not panic. Think, think, think. If all the radio signals are down here at camp, the only thing I can think of is reaching a higher altitude as an access point. Rachel? Rachel, hello? Please call me back. Dor Rachel, what's going on? You were cutting out earlier. Are you okay? Dorothy, I need you to listen to me very carefully. I have a really big favor to ask you. Whatever could it be, Rachel? You're worrying me. You have all my reports on DDT biomagnification and bioaccumulation. I'm going to need you to publish them. Now, Rachel, why would I do that? Well, it seems as if I'm not going to be making it back home. Dr. Muller disregarded all my data on DDT and has gone ahead and commercialized it. On top of that, I'm stranded here. My time is all but up. What? Where are you? I, I can find a boat. I can come get you right now. I don't want to spend my last dying breath in a hospital room. I need you with me. I need you to be very strong, okay? But no! You can't go! Please submit my reports. This information has to get out. The public must know the dangers of DDT. I love you, my dearest Dorothy. Rachel, I love you too. 